This is what Melbourne looked like in 1914, which was the year an exciting new invention came to Victoria. Petrol bowsers. The new pump system would mean that motorists could fill up in just a few short minutes. Before then, they'd buy their petrol in four gallon tins from hardware stores or grocers. By the late 1920s, service stations began to appear in Melbourne's well-to-do suburbs and even in the middle of the city. By the 1930s, the servo took off across the state. The classic servo was attached to a garage like this one in Tallangatta. Every servo had its own distinctive character, from stylish, streamlined modern architecture to something more akin to a suburban dwelling. Then there's this converted Methodist church servo in Seymour. And of course, the iconic country servo and pit stop. A lot of servos' personality came from the people who ran them. Some will remember a time when an attendant would fill up your tank, check your oil and water, and just shoot the breeze. But by the 1950s, the unique small owner-operated servos began to be swallowed up by sleek megastores as petrol companies rushed to secure a piece of the local market. In 1954, Camwell Junction had 38 servos within a one mile radius. Petrol wars reached a peak by the mid 60s before a global crude oil surplus caused company profits to plummet. By 1976, there was a shift towards self-serve, which some people were obviously happier about than others. 